there are two things that I regret about this fucking anal rape that occurred in the 504 tonight. Two things. Number one, we didn't get rid of that idiot kicker last week and bring in Garrett Hartley and welcome him with a fifth of Knob Creek and maybe an eight ball of Coke because we need his ass back. And number two, that I did not fly down there and was able to witness it in the greatest stadium on the planet, the Superdome, so I could look at that cocksucker's face who can never get our names out of his mouth, the guy that makes four or five videos during the game, that makes videos while he's working out, like a fucking weirdo on his fucking laptop looking behind him, making sure no one's looking at him. The guy that bragged about going down to the city that he hates, that he has made fun of, calling us Katrina ants and all this shit, saying how nasty the city is, but he gets his life savings. His fucking life savings. And he goes down to the Big Easy. And what did we do being great Louisiana people? We opened up our arms and said, Welcome, David. Welcome. Stay in your Motel 6 and shoot YouTube videos. And you've got the greatest live entertainment. You've got the greatest food on the planet. But make YouTube videos. We welcome him. So what do I regret is that I'm not able to go out right now outside of the stadium and walk up to that fucking douchebag and slap him in the fucking mouth like everybody in the Who Dat Nation wants to. Uptown, my motherfucking boy Algiers, Who Dat Rain Check, all of them, fuck. What a fucking win, people. What a win. Yeah, we're two and four. The glass is half full. Let me tell you why. Our next five games, thank you, Mojo. Our next five games are very, very winnable. Indianapolis, the Giants, who we always play really good. And we got the Texans and uh, Tennessee and one other fucking team. We can, we, we're playing against not very good teams. The three of them have losing records. We could turn this thing around, but we're playing against that Peyton Manning wannabe Andrew Luck after they're about to get fucking destroyed by New England and Tom the Hitman Brady. But let's go on to this game. Wow. For first, our draft picks. What, what's, up, what's up, Chris Dat? What's up, Chris Dat? Our draft picks, Cam Jordan, Mark Ingram. They, we, we finally, on defense, we, we did something. Even though we left six, nine points out there because of our kicker, we did something. Ben Watson had a fucking game. We went away from let's just feed the ball to Brandon Cooks. Let's give some other guys some opportunities. And Ben Watson stepped up. Is he as big as Jimmy Graham? No. Would Jimmy Graham have, have caught that pass that he dropped? I don't know. Maybe. But shit. You talk about a spark. This is the spark we needed. Hey, Falcon fans. <laughs> oh, man. All this shit. All this shit. And I'm sorry that I can't make five or six videos a week. And this week I did want to make, it was a short week. I didn't want to make a video, but I've been working. But I took tonight off. I really, I thought about making a video earlier and I was like, no, nah, I don't really want to. I'm going I'm to crow or I'm going to do my fucking victory lap. And I'm doing my victory lap right now. All you motherfuckers talk shit, every last one of you. And I had a thing I was going to do. If we had lost this game, I'd have said, it's over. If we can't beat these fucking scrubs... This overhyped team, like they always are, every time every time that they have a good team, they get overhyped, and then everyone comes out of the closet, they jump on the bandwagon, like that ESPN special. They're going around looking for all these Falcon fans and little five points, and they're looking around downtown Atlanta, and there's no fucking Falcon fans. And this was like in the summer, and now you go down there, and it's showed now, and they're every fucking where. Yeah, you too, all Gator. What's up, buddy? How does it feel? Go to fucking Augusta and play 18 for me, you rich fuck. All you, all you Falcon fans can suck my dick. Suck the Who Dat Nation's dick. Y'all talk so much fucking shit on Facebook, on Twitter, on fucking, on this bullshit YouTube. All you cocksuckers, man. It's so great. Oh, man, y'all are 5-0. Y'all are undefeatable. Well, guess what happens? You take Julio Jones from the University of Alabama. You take him out of the game, and y'all ain't shit. 
Yeah, we'll let Freeman get him a touchdown. We'll let him get 80 yards. But if you shut Julio down and you shut down that fucking piece of shit Roddy White, he shouldn't even be playing in the NFL. He shouldn't even be playing in the USFL. He shouldn't even be playing in the CFL. He couldn't even play in the XXL. He ought to be playing in fucking South China right now. That fucking scrub. That's all it is. That's all it is. It all goes back to Dan Quinn and his genius defense ain't shit without the Legion of Douche. Because all those guys are bigger than everyone else. Now, maybe in a couple years, once he's able to draft some people that are no prototypical 6 for 4 in their corners, they can win the fucking 4 for 2 well, not, Maybe then we can talk. Your defense is shit. And your offense with that quarterback, Matty fucking choke on his own liquid. Oh, man, it was great. Oh, it was great. We suplexed your entire fucking team. It was wonderful seeing you bitches exposed for the fake fraudulence that you are. Only real football fans know. The ones that watch games know that your team was fake. I knew it. Y'all should have lost every fucking game y'all were in. Y'all should be 0-6 right now. 0-5. 0-6. Y'all should be. The only team y'all played, the only team with a quarterback that y'all played, y'all play two now. Breeze and fucking two-time Super Bowl MVP champion fucking Eli Manning. That's it. The two quarter. That's the only two quarterbacks y'all played. All everyone else is back up and fucking scrubs, dude. Y'all ain't shit, man. Oh, Lita. Oh man. Are you gonna? So during the rest of your trip, how does it feel? You spent your life savings and your team lost. I was sitting there. And I was saying, oh my god. I just want to see the expression on this fucker's face. Are you going back to Motel 6 to shoot you three or four videos? Are you going to make excuses? Is this going to come out of your mouth, Davy boy? Well, at least we're 5 and 1. Who beat my chest? At least we're 5 and 1. Well, hey, it doesn't matter if you go fucking 15 and 1. It doesn't matter if you go 14 and 2. Y'all are going to choke in the playoffs because y'all don't have what it takes, and it's called heart, man. Y'all don't have a chip. Y'all don't have a ring. Y'all don't know how to win Charlie Sheen style. So go back to your Motel 6. Don't go down to the French Quarter, dude. Don't go down to Bourbon Street. Because you know what's going to happen if you do that shit? You're going to get your fucking ass whooped. I guarantee you they're going to be going down there talking all that shit now. Now, I know you probably took a cab. You got a van. Because no one wants to hang out with you because you fucking stink. And you're a fucking scumbag, fucking douchebag, fucking mooch. Do you have your laptop with you right now? Are you giving us live crow as I'm doing this video? Or are you going to go back to your hotel room so sad, wondering why you spent the money to go down there? Are you going to get on an early flight because we want you to fucking get out of our beautiful city? Okay? <laughs> what the fuck? You idiot. Uh, just, you know, look. Tomorrow, go down. Go down to Bourbon Street. Go during the day. Have your little laptop. Have all these people vacationing down there and look at the guy. You know that guy that walks into the bar? You know that guy that you see in a restaurant? You know that guy that you see in a shopping mall? You know that guy that you see on the street and you look and you're like, whoa, that's a fucking douche canoe. Look at this fucking idiot. That's you, buddy. But I hope you have a great time down there. And like I said, we'll welcome you back because you're a good luck fucking charm. And hopefully we can build on this. And we can we can start this game and get a two win game fuck two game winning streak against fucking Indianapolis. I'm fucking pumped. I'm glad my team fucking showed up. This is a team that I, I knew we had. I knew we had this fucking team. Now look, we're only two and four, but this is our division rivals, people. You don't understand. Even though Atlanta doesn't have a fan base, we hate them just like the Cowboys hate the Redskins, just like the fucking Raiders hate the Broncos. The hate between Atlanta and New Orleans is real. Because they don't have any food. They act like they have food. They have to steal our fucking sponsor. They have to develop their offense to try to make it like ours. And they pretty much just... They're, they're copycats. They're copycats, man. They're fucking frauds. The Dirty Bird Nation. They can't even fucking get a real... Jamal Anderson has been retired for 20 years, people. Oh, did you like how fucking Mark Ingram did the Dirty Bird? Did you like that shit? I bet all you fucking did. Sean J. I I didn't forget about you, Reverend. I'm gonna I wanna make sure of this. Now this is this is Luke 316 right here. All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training and righteousness, and teaching in righteousness. 
I didn't find your little fucking video funny at all. I want you to go to church on Sunday and pray for your witness, and I want you to give testimony that you violated and broke one of the Ten Commandments based on one of your fucking videos that you did that you thought was cute, and you're giving a witness. No, 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 no. It was blasphemous, man. I can't believe you actually did that. It made me sick watching it. You're better than that. And you're up here, you're, you're, you're trying to make fun of the whole situation. You, you, so you're making fun of actually giving a witness and giving a testimony? Man, hey, you ain't the one. When you walk up to them pearly gates, it ain't going to be the clown you see, motherfucker. It's going to be another dude in a white robe. And he's probably going to be a saint wearing black and gold, but it ain't going to be me. So the next time you get on here trying to be cute, trying to be like fucking Jesse Jackson and the rest of them fucking has-beens, Make sure that you don't do it being blasphemous to the Lord. Because you just might get what you deserve. And that's an anal rape in the Superdome. <laughs> oh, shit. That's it. You've heard it from the crown clown. I am the trifecta. They call me the big bad fucking booty shaker. And I reside in motherfucking the greatest state that God's ever made. And that's the state of Texas. And for right now, I'm out, bitches. Who fucking that?